Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I want to explain to you how to address ownerless uh, teams and groups within uh, SharePoint and Microsoft 365. Uh, let me first explain to you the use case, the situation. Uh, so uh, whether you have a team in Teams or a related uh, SharePoint team site in SharePoint, uh, the membership of the uh, of the teams and uh, SharePoint is managed by the Microsoft 365 group, and the group, you know, has both members and owners. Members, of course, can add, edit, delete content, and owners can do all of the above. Plus, uh, they can manage, you know, team and site settings as well as add or remove owners from the group. However, situations, you know, uh, do occur when uh, let's say somebody leaves the organization, the owner leaves the organization, and their account is obviously deactivated or deleted by the IT department. Well, in this case, what happens is that um, there are no more owners in the given team. Essentially, let's say I left the organization, my account was deactivated or deleted. Uh, now I just have two members left on the team. So that's essentially what I want to show you, uh, how to address those sorts of you know, situation uh, and be uh, proactive about them. Now, uh, before I show you the functionality that exists to address this, I want to mention this. This is only for situations when uh, like somebody literally just leaves the organization and their account is deleted, all right? This is not for situations when somebody decides, hey, you know, I had enough of this. I don't want to be the owner of the team anymore. I want to leave this team. You cannot actually do it. Watch what happens when I try to remove myself from uh, this team. It doesn't allow me to. It essentially tells me, hey, Greg, you know, you need it to, uh, this team needs uh, to have at least uh, one owner. So, uh, you know, promote someone to be the owner, and then you can leave the team. All right. Uh, same if I, you know, same happens if I uh, just try to demote myself. All right. I don't want to be the owner anymore, just I want to be a regular guy. A regular member again doesn't allow me to do that. Uh, so for those sorts of kind of scenarios, right, there is a built-in mechanism. Essentially, uh, I will need to promote one of the other members to be the owner, and then I can remove myself uh, a a as I wish. Uh, what I want to describe in this video is for situations when somebody like literally just leaves the organization, is no longer an employee. So what ends up happening is that IT just deletes the account, right? Um, and uh, essentially, at that point, you are truly left uh, with uh, without any owners. So let me show you how to address this uh, sorts of uh, those uh, sorts of situations. Uh, you need to be a, a, obviously a Microsoft 365 admin to configure this, uh, but you need to navigate to the admin portal. And inside of the admin portal, uh, you need to navigate to settings org settings, right? And then uh, scroll down uh, over here to a Microsoft 365 group settings. All right, perfect. And this is where you can configure, um, uh, you know, pretty much external sharing uh, for, for your groups. But uh, over here, uh, down below, you will have a section called ownerless groups. Now, I already configured this. So uh, this checkbox will be, uh, uh, unchecked in your case, but in my case, it is enabled because I already configured it. But essentially what you will need to do is enable the checkbox, all right? And then uh, what will happen next is, uh, so by default, there is a policy that kind of uh, essentially watches for ownerless teams and sends out an email, uh, you know, behind the scenes in case if there is uh, an owner missing from the team. Uh, if you want to accept the default policy, then you just click the save button. However, what might be worthwhile doing is configuring your own policy. And with the policy, you can configure things like how frequently will the email be sent uh, to the team members, all right? Or who it will come from and, um, you know, how many team members to notify. So let's click configure policy. And by the way, essentially what we're configuring, right, what uh, will end up happening. So let's say I decide to leave the organization. IT decides obviously to delete my account. Now the team is left without the owners. So uh, as soon as this happens, there is this workflow that will kick in based on this configuration policy we're about to set up. 
And essentially, uh, what will end up happening is that the email will be sent to the remaining team members, asking them to step up and essentially become the owner. All right. So that's essentially what we're configuring here. And, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It's a wizard. You just walk through it, you know, and essentially you just specify, uh, you, you know, who uh, will receive uh, receive uh, ownership not not notifications, um, how many members to notify, right? Maybe, you know, there are 20 or 50 members on the team, right? You only want to notify maybe, uh, you know, five of them, all right? How frequently will emails be sent? Uh, essentially, the emails will be sent on a regular basis uh, until somebody decides to step up and become the owner, all right? So there will be frequent uh, emails sent. Uh, then you can choose who the email will come from. Um, so you can specify maybe you have some sort of uh, uh, kind of service account maybe you want to include, all right? And then this is where you can specify the um, the email itself, the subject of the email, the body of the email, the message. Um, this is kind of a, by default, it just uh, gives you some uh, a default text. You can accept it as is or tweak it and you can even see the preview. And then finally, um, you can specify which groups. All right, maybe, you know what, you only want specific groups to apply this policy to, all right, or all groups. So you can tweak that. And then at the end, you just have to review and finish. All right, I already configured this, so I'm not going to click the finish button, but essentially you get the idea. You can configure it any way you want. And then finally, uh, all you need to do is just click the save button here. All right, again, make sure that this checkbox is enabled. Uh, and, uh, you know, just click save, all right? Uh, now, let me show you what will happen uh, now when the, you know, when the team uh, ends up uh, being without the owner. Let's say, again, the owner, uh, you know, left the, uh, the organization, IT disabled the account, uh, deleted the account, so now we don't have any owners on the team. Uh, essentially, uh, I'm just using uh, this example of Mary. I'm logged in as Mary now. And Mary will get an email just like that. And essentially, look, I can figure the policy to come from me. And this is the uh, email that Mary will get. Uh, and essentially it says, hey, Mary, you're receiving this because you're part of this, uh, you're an active member of the group, but unfortunately we don't have the owner. Would you like to be one, all right? And essentially Mary just needs to click yes. So let's click yes. And that's it, it makes, uh, Mary, the owner uh, of the uh, team of this group automatically. And uh, now uh, now that Mary accepted, there will be no more email sent, all right? I remember how uh, you could configure how many, how frequently you want the email to be sent every few weeks or so on, those reminders. No more reminders will be sent because Mary decided to become the owner. So uh, the, the, you know, the situation has been resolved, all right? So, uh, you know, that's all I really wanted to show you in this video. Uh, in my opinion, this is a really nice built-in out-of-the-box feature uh, that will definitely assist you with governance, all right? Uh, if, uh, you know, this way you don't need to kind of monitor all these different, you know, teams, whether they have owners or not. Um, you can just be a little bit more proactive, set up this policy and let, you know, the team members to uh, step up and essentially become the owners based on this notification. Uh, all right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, video. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.